Welcome to the Contractor Success Forum. Today, we are talking about QuickBooks for Contractors Desktop versus Online. And we have with us our wonderful CPA, Wade Carpenter, Carpenter and Company CPAs. <laughs> and we have Stephen Brown with McDaniel Whitley Bonding and Insurance Company. And I am Rob Williams, and I am a little bit off today because I am at the world of asphalt here in nashville broadcasting live on a recorded show here for you guys today I'm talking about again quickbooks desktop versus online there's so many rumors about this which one's better which one's not and we have wade to give us the scoop here today wade What's happening with that? Well, there's a lot to talk about there. Just wanted to say, first of all, obviously QuickBooks, either version is not the end all be all for contractors. There are other software providers that provide accounting software that will do a lot more contractor specific things, job cost specific things that you won't find in QuickBooks, either version. But with that said, QuickBooks definitely fills a spot in the contractor market for a lot of smaller contractors. I'm not going to try to drop names or, you know, some of these bigger ones, but a, a friend of mine that does accounting software implementation on these higher end systems, her rule of thumb is you, you may spend several thousand dollars on the software, but you need to plan on spending at least three times as much on the implementation to get it working right. So my main goal right now is to dispel some myths and give some personal opinions that may get me some hate mail out of this one. Yeah. I tell you, you say three times with a mass program like QuickBooks, I'd say I spend 10 times more because QuickBooks is one of the less expensive softwares out there. So yeah, I'd, I'd say it's multiple times over what you do to get the thing running rather than just paying for it. Where some of these other ones I've had in the past were tens of thousands of dollars oh, that yeah. I used for some of my companies. And the three times rule probably applied there. <laughs> but. Well, I guess I may want to defer to Stephen here, but believe it or not, I have a $150 million general contractor running on QuickBooks desktop that I've worked wow. with for 15 years. They do a wonderful job. They have great job cost records. The bonding company loves them. The bank loves them. But then again, there are a lot of people that don't run it properly and I should also say, if you're doing 150 million, depending on the type of construction, the number of jobs, that it may not be right for you to be doing it at 150 million dollar level. But you know, there is probably some time that maybe you need to consider changing. So I just want to talk. Please about do. You but, know, at the counting you know, system software, it's an ongoing topic that we talk about in the bonding business all the time. That's one of the first questions. What software program do you use? What do you like about it? What you don't like about it? Because we're not accountants, but we're forced into it all the time. Because if you can't produce good reports for us, we can't get you bonds. Right. Generally speaking, do you trust, you know, a QuickBooks in-house statement? It, it, as long as everything reconciles. It, the balance sheet and income statement and work in progress report, they all need to make sense. They all need to, to go together. So that's one. And then at a bare minimum, we have to have a CPA prepared review caliber year end. And if your accountant has a hard time doing that because your accounting system is not providing them the information they need to put that report together, then you're really in trouble. Because at that point, in my opinion, you're not managing your company. So this is everything. Right. I'm still amazed that 25 years ago, I remember being upset that all of our systems and our accounting were not integrated. Now it's 2022 and we're still not integrated on a lot of these things with software. I, it's just amazing to me how that stayed separate. That's another part I want to bring up today because there's a lot of things. And obviously, I can't give all my opinion in 20 or 30 minutes on this subject because Typically, when I'm working with a contractor, I'll spend a couple of hours designing a system. But just to briefly state, again, the powers that be it, into it may come smite me later. But QuickBooks Online, 
is still very limited when it comes to job costing, things like that. I'll say basically that if you need a job costed statement for bonding, a, a true one, QuickBooks Online may not be the right fit for you. I just was going back and forth with some firm that supposedly was a contractor specific CPA firm. Well, they tried to do a, several industries, but they were pushing people on QuickBooks Online. And I actually had one come back to me like six or seven months later and said, that was the worst decision I ever made because I can't get the job records I need. Well, that's got to be frustrating. I have so many customers spend a fortune on their accounting system and they're sold somewhere on the accounting system. And my advice is involve your CPA. If you have a good construction oriented CPA that is there to guide you through this. I don't care if you're on a team, you can't expect your CPA to not be on board with whatever software program you decide to use. There, I've spoken my piece. Well, you. Intuit has done a wonderful job of trying to force everybody onto their online product. They make more money that way. The subscription model where they're making continuous monthly revenue, whereas they weren't making as much with a desktop product. And they actually have changed that in 2022 here. They've actually now brought the QuickBooks desktop product into an annual subscription model where you have to pay every year or you don't get to keep using it. And I think they finally realized that for a certain segment of the market, it's not going away. You mentioned some of these third-party apps. A lot of times people will choose their accounting software based on and I, again, I'm trying not to throw out vendor names and things like that, because a lot of them will do what they need them to do, or at least on the surface. But there are some things that they say they will sync with QuickBooks. It may sync with QuickBooks online, but not desktop and sometimes vice versa. But the idea is let's not key it twice. Half the time is never get set up properly. Somebody has to key it somewhere. And when you're doing job costing, it takes some effort beyond just pulling information in. I'll definitely say as a contractor, we were much more biased to having the job costing work than we were the accounting. It's like, okay, well, the accountants are just going to figure all that out. Now in the home building industry, you know, that's a lot more job cost specific. So it probably is than the commercial because you're counting every board and stick and nail and everything that you have in POs and everything. So that was our whole world. And we just had to make the accounting work. We weren't as worried about the bonding and stuff in our positions as the commercial contracting world. Well, if you're a home builder and building spec homes and you got to report to the bank, you have to turn in things. So that kind of gets into a few questions I asked to say, which one is right for you? And First question I ask when I'm talking to a contractor is, do you need real-time books or do you need after-the-fact accounting? And I probably need to explain that a little bit, but, you know, after-the-fact accounting, QuickBooks Online touted the fact that we've got these bank feeds for credit cards and, and banks will pull all this stuff in and it's all done for you and you don't have to do anything. If all you are really concerned about is whether you get, can get your books to your CPA for taxes well, maybe that's just fine. But if you're concerned about job costing, that's a different animal. So if you're looking for more real-time stuff, don't get me wrong because QuickBooks Online definitely can do real-time accounting. And there are some great third-party apps that will bring in payables and things like that. But by and large, it was built to be more of an after-the-fact type accounting. And it puts a certain mindset in any business owners that it's going to do it for me. And sometimes it can create a bigger mess than you realize <laughs> just because you're relying on the things to automatically do it for you. And then the, the second question, I guess, and then I'm, there's going to be a couple of sub questions, but do you need job costing? Number one, I think I already said it, but if you need job costing for Steven, I think the question is hands down, you absolutely need to be using desktop uh -huh. version because the limitations I'm going to talk about in just a minute are, you know, without using these third-party apps. And again, too often I say they don't work, but, you know, if you need real job costing, whether you're looking to do it in-house or for a bonding company, 
or you really want to know how you're doing on a job. And I would argue the fact that any contractor that really wants to do better really needs to do job costed books because they don't know how they're really coming out on the job. So you're doing the job costing in there as opposed to, I don't know what your opinion, you mentioned the third party apps, but it seems like I talked to a lot of people that are saying it's not going to work either way. Well, no, they may not have tried the desktop, but they're convinced that they've got to do the third party apps. And then I, I'm not exactly sure how they're getting it and, and coordinating it with say their QuickBooks online or whatever else they're using. So I, that's always very difficult for me to understand because I, the more years I go, not being a contractor, the further I get away from it. Right. Well, again, the, the third party apps, they got great intentions and they would work if number one, they, they set up properly. But number two, you got to realize that there, somebody's got to physically do these, go and allocate the job costs and stuff like that. And if you're not willing to do it, you're not going to get there no matter what system you get. And the next sub question I would ask you, you know, if you need job costing, do you need summary job costing versus a detailed job costing? And when I explain that, let's just start with summary. If you need just the chart of accounts level, like labor, materials, subcontract, equipment, other, and just rolling it up into those big categories. And for a lot of contractors, that's a big step forward. QuickBooks Online will do that with some limitations. And obviously desktop will also do that. If you need a detailed job costing structure, like a phase code, cost code type thing, or like Rob, you mentioned home building, a lot of banks break it down in the 10 categories and all that stuff. If you need to put it in those, you know, say you're a GC and you had electrical, plumbing, concrete, well, demo, whatever. If you need to break it down even into those sub levels, then that's more the detail phase code, cost code. And yes, in QuickBooks Online, you can have those items, but the job costing reports are horrible and they will not give you that detail. Okay. Mm hmm. And again, I know this is just my experience of 30 years of working with these people. I'm actually a very tech savvy CPA and I usually would tout all these things that are online, but there are certain things that, you know, was written a certain way and QuickBooks online was made to run in the cloud and it's not necessarily conducive to construction. The next sub question on the job costing, how much do you self perform on you know, your own labor in putting it in doing a job? QuickBooks Online, even with their online integrated payroll, will not do job costing, period, on the labor. You can do it if you go back and manually do journal entries and break it down, but it is a very manual process. If you want to do integrated payroll that will actually do the job costing as you go, as well as allocating payroll taxes, allocating workers' comp, general liability, some of these other things like overhead that is tied to payroll per diem, stuff like that. QuickBooks Desktop will do that with their, you know, integrated payroll system. And while I'm on that point, I guess I would also say if you're doing certified payroll, you cannot do that with QuickBooks Online payroll system. QuickBooks Desktop payroll, I was pleasantly surprised a few years ago that they brought that to the point where I can actually spit out a certified payroll report directly from QuickBooks that I can turn in and the contractors will accept. That can be huge. And it's very time consuming process if you're using ADP or paychecks and have to do those manually or even QuickBooks online. So let me take a breath and see if you guys have any questions. I feel like I'm kind of running on and on, but. It sounds like we still have the same issues that we had back 15 years ago. Like I said in the beginning, I'm just so surprised because like you mentioned, we went through the paychecks and the ADP and all these different services that were going to help solve all these problems. And they caused some massive problems with that. And I don't think on our residential jobs, we didn't even try to allocate the workers comp, th those kind of things to the job. We had percentages that we would just put in, but we didn't try to do that by the hour and burden that. But that's just, it's unbelievable the complexity that we're still trying to fight these battles that are not solved yet. Well, yeah. And some of them are constant battles and there's no 
real way to do it. But you know, what you mentioned doing these with journal entries and percentages and all that stuff, that is still a way we have to do with several people. The final question I'm going to throw out here today, do you need remote access? QuickBooks Online obviously was built where you can get to it anytime, anywhere. And that's one of the huge selling points they, they say. But, you know, there are also some benefits in the fact that these third-party apps will talk to it without having to go through a server or things like that. But with that said, QuickBooks Desktop also can be remote hosted. And there are third-party commercial hosts. And again, I'm not trying to throw out recommendations, but, you know, Right Networks is probably the best known in the game, but there are plenty of them out there that will host it. And you can get the same level of access getting to your data anytime you want, as long as you got an internet connection. We've realized that we've gone through several iterations of this, of logging into people's server and stuff like that, but the remote hosted desktop works really well where a contractor can get it and then we can get to it and help them build their books. Or sometimes we're doing the full back office where we're doing that and the contractor can see any reports he needs to. The main thing I hear about is the project manager inputting their project data so you can stay up to date on your job cost and your billings. Your remote guys that are, are working at the job site that are dealing with the day-to-day -day transactions of that particular job. You were just mentioning like the 10 codes, that's sort of the commercial, because I still see residential versus the commercial is, is just two whole separate universes. The cost coding is not, we didn't have 10 things. We had the home builder's chart of accounts that were 20 codes. And then in our framing companies, the commercial side over here, we had the, what I would now kind of consider the standard way of doing things, but the residential world still didn't know that. And all the software, it's just a totally different names of softwares and solutions and everything. We're just a different animal than the commercial side. So I, I think it's still that way from, I was with a builder last night, just hearing the names of them. It's not the same names of the software. It's totally different solutions. You know, the, the names have changed and some of them have been bought out by others, but the game is still, you know, it does depend. For some contractors, if you can just get the level of labor materials, equipment, other, and that works for you, that's great. There's a minimum, and then there's also the extreme on trying to get thousands of job codes. At some point, it becomes ridiculous and you more work. But, you know, what I hope is the contractor gets the information they need to run a better job and make more money at it. So that's where I'm going with To that. me, it's also about the ease of use because I've, I've seen so many clients spend a fortune on them accounting software program that had all the bells and whistles and they were like, great, I can grow with this system. And then there was literally no support. Huge fees for the support that they paid that were non-existent. And again, you're dealing with, mm -hmm. let me be a contractor. I don't want to be an accountant. I'm a bond guy. I don't want to be an accountant. I think that's one of the keys to my success is not being an accountant or pretending to be an accountant or a lawyer or anything else. But the reports that we need have to be timely and we have to have them. And we got to get toward that point. And if we're getting the reports we need, always your construction oriented CPA way can show you this is the best way to do business. They don't compete with each other. But I really do appreciate you breaking out those differences because we all have clients that are using QuickBooks and they don't know what to sign up for. And again, Wade, I, I don't know what you do when a client or a potential client comes to you for your recommendations. I know you have to ask a lot of questions, but I would think you'd have to be an expert on all the software programs. Well, you don't have to be an expert on all of them, but if you understand the construction accounting, you understand what they do and getting them to do what they need to do. Sometimes it does take the specialist, but just going back to what you said about what they spend on software support, what I said at the beginning, my friend that said, you need to budget three times the cost of the software and implementation. I don't know how accurate that is, but I've seen some of the bills. You know, specific. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd say three times was low from my experience. But one of the other things Stephen just said was about, I, I was guilty of saying, I'm going to grow into this software and buying the bigger ones. Bigger companies is not better. I mean, right size that for you. We kept saying, oh, well, gosh, this huge company, they're using this. So we want ours to be really good. So we're going to use that. Yeah, but too. I don't want to outgrow my system and remember. have to go through this again. Yeah, but uh, we were so far from outgrowing that. You get in the right size system is a huge important thing. I hired a guy for two years, worked on a system. I still feel guilty about that guy in the 90s. I, I, I probably need to call him and apologize. Two years he worked on that. We never got a job out. <laughs> two years. <laughs> Poor guy. That had to be the most frustrating job in the world. We had bought this huge system and we were going to change the world with it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I see that all the time too. And I'm not trying to knock QuickBooks online, but you know, it does not do everything that they lead you to believe it does. That's my opinion. But then again, if you really don't care about job costing, what Rob said, there are, you know, a lot of people on the residential side that really don't care. It's like, as long as I got money in the bank account, they don't care what the job cost really is. If all you're trying to do is get after the fact accounting to get your taxes done, it'll work. I was actually saying the opposite in the residential. We were more concerned about the job costing. We weren't concerned about the other side. We were so gung-ho on our purchase orders and everything matching. Our well, everything loss. that we talk about on Contractor Success Form is cash flow and job costing. So read between the lines of what Wade's saying. Yeah. I mean, I guess all I'm going to say is I can build a working system out of the box with QuickBooks Desktop that can do a lot of these things that these third-party apps have to do to supplement QuickBooks Online. And, and then again, they still don't necessarily work. And anytime you're working integrations, I guess sounds like Rob's experience, it doesn't always work. Yeah, but getting the people to do it, and that was part of it. We didn't hire the guys. We hired a lesser expensive guy to do it rather than hiring the guy to come set it up for us. That was a big mistake. Getting the right people that know how to do it is is important. That sounds like the same story I told about the guy with the squeaky floorboards and knowing where to nail. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, this is very helpful. Well, I couldn't hit everything in 30 minutes, but I hope I gave some people things to think about. I hope Intuit doesn't show up at my door and like... <laughs> have my head on a platter. Hope I don't get hate mail from this, but quite frankly, the things that they say it does, it does not necessarily do very well for QuickBooks Online. And I think they finally realized in 2022 when they changed this desktop model that there are a lot of people that believe that, well, number one, they should have probably taken the desktop and put it in the cloud. If they had done that to begin with, it would have been a lot better work. That makes but sense. Anyway. All right. Well, hopefully they'll listen and they'll keep integrating these things. And one day we'll have one QuickBooks. Well, Maybe. I don't know about that, but like I said, <laughs> someday somebody's going to replace them or something. But, you know, if anybody is listening to this and they have questions about it, I'm glad to take calls and, and discuss your own personal situation. One size doesn't fit all, I guess I would say. So. All right. Well, I really appreciate that information and knowledge on this because it's a very common thing. Are you on QuickBooks Online? Some people, they say they're not going to take a client that's not QuickBooks Online as a business. There are yeah. accounting firms that do that, but they don't do necessarily construction. And Exactly. Exactly. So, And they have an after the fact model type thing. And all they're trying to do is get taxes done. That makes right. sense. Right. And like you said, the third-party apps, some of these guys are just gung-ho on their separate job costing software. And then they just, like I mentioned earlier, they just let somebody else figure out all the accounting and how they have to tie it together. I'm sure you're not looking forward to seeing those guys come through the door though, Wade. <laughs> so, well, we don't uh, mind tying things together if, if they work, but it's just relying on some of these third-party things to run your business is where they make yeah. mistakes. Again, construction accounting is an art form. It's something that comes from years and years of practice. And I'm sure one-on-one, -on -one, if you're a client of Wade's and you ask him this question, Wade, in a dream world, what software program 
what I operate that you could help me with and that also you enjoy using. You definitely have an opinion. So I'll just say it. Guys, your CPAs are some of your best sources. And make sure that you get the best construction-oriented accountant you can find. It's worth their weight in gold. There. I said I spoke my piece earlier. I guess I've done it twice now. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, Wade. Well, thank you for saying that. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot again, Wade. This has been another great episode of the Contractor Success Forum, today broadcasting from the world of asphalt. I appreciate everybody listening and follow us on uh, contractorsuccessforum.com. Start some discussions, ask us some questions. Right now we have a LinkedIn page. You can ask us questions online there. This is probably a really good topic. Somebody should be asking us questions on this and, and discussions online. So don't be afraid to get those answers on the, the contractor success form links that we have. Thanks. Everybody have a great day and come back and see us. <laughs>